Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give the highest all the glory and all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Racha Kwadash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of great millstone who teach and do well and taught me the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered to all four corners of the earth, my fellow laborers who push in this work and word in truth and sincerity all across the globe. Shalom. Uh, following the passing on the online safety bill this week, UK authorities now have the power to punish citizens who share anything deemed hateful or labeled as misinformation on social media. You see, so it begins, man. And that, 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 this, uh, that's, uh, that's why I was saying this in a lesson uh, a month ago or something like that about the DSA uh, Act, man. And these things are important to uh, keep up with, man. You need to know what's going on, man. The UK's, the UK's Office of Communi uh, Communications, Ofcom, will have the power to issue criminal criminals fines up to of up to 80 million uh, pounds, roughly. 22 million dollar on non-compliant uh, citizens and companies in some case people may face jail time for non-compliance you see and this is where we had in that man and this is coming soon in a city and a country near to you man because why they want to they want like i was reading about the Rothschilds. they are the one that is behind it and they try to put this uh, you know they try to stop this man because this is keeping them a dance in their plans they cannot uh forward their new world order if they don't do these things man you see and they bring it like a hey, you heard in other people but that is not true it is hurting them because they want to control the narrative and with people that are against them, they cannot control the narrative as they want to do, man. You see? So they need to get rid of that. Uh, uh, Brightboard.com uh, reports the bill regulates illegal content like uh, child sexual abuse and terrorism, but also goes far beyond it. Companies will face penalties for failing to clamp down on scam ads, deep fake, uh, pornography and even for f uh, failing to offer users the ability to limit their exposure to anonymous trolls you see so uh, this is going down man and i want to go to another article quick bear with me yeah through the spirit i hope it ain't gonna be long but some things need to be, be brought out man that we know in the time it is uh, Kamala Harris, yeah, this one. Uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, the WEF, the World Economic Forum, calls for free speech concentration camps to jail First uh, Amendment terrorists. You see, the world has has reached a critical juncture, according to Klaus Schwab, who has ordered world governments to begin jailing and re-educating anybody who opposes the globalist agenda. According to Schwab, uh, human history is now officially over and anybody who disagrees with the globalist agenda must be cancelled, deplatformed, arrested and imprisoned as an, an example to the rest of society. So you see these elites are coming out guns blazing. No time anymore, you know, because why? Satan has about a, about a little time and about a short time, you know, Revelation 12 and 12, man pursuing revelation 12 and 12 so lucky you see but this is what they're gonna do man the evil plot against humanity has been in the works for years and now we are seeing the first signs play out before our fairy eyes you see and this is what they are trying to do now man Klaus Schwab has become increasingly bullish about uh, his plans to hijack humanity, destroy uh, su sovereignty, uh, and brute force uh, and brute force a world government uh, upon the world. It's like a brute force a world government upon the world because that is what they want to do, man. According to Schwab, we have now reached the point where anybody who takes a negative, a critical, or a, confront a confrontational 
attitude to the plans of the WEF must be dealt with harshly. You see, Klaus Schwab's unelected globalist agents have been instructed to decimate the instructions in international forums. Former New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who now served the WEF full time, told the UN Climate Summit in New York City this week that free speech is a weapon of war and anybody caught speaking their mind on sensitive globalist subjects must be punished accordingly. You see, so these devils are going out now. Now they don't hide it anymore. It is like, hey man, you comply or not or else we're gonna do the most horrible things onto you, man. And that's why in this time we need to be strong, man. So uh, I'm gonna post uh, if I don't forget both uh, both of these articles in the um, subscription box so that you can read it for yourself. I ain't gonna read everything. Uh, I wanna go to a few scriptures and close out. Uh, let me go to the book of. If I was correct, is the book of James. Yeah. This is the book of James, chapter 5, verse 1. Uh, Miss issues of riches, because these devils got all the, uh, <laughs> the riches of the earth, man. Go to, uh, uh, go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries sh that shall come upon you. And, hey, the heavenly father is going to pour these miseries upon you. And it, it, <laughs> you're going to get it. He use you. He only use you for the for the for the sake of prophecy, man. That you gonna fulfill the uh, his will, man. And it is not your will; it is the will of the heavenly Father. You ha has nothing. To, you got nothing to do with it, man. You are created to do uh, to do the bidding of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai. He put a strong delusion in your head that you think that you're doing things by your own accord and that you can ex out uh, the heavenly father and it's only because the son but it ain't gonna happen man your riches are corrupt corrupted and your garments are moth eaten you see because everything that you thought all the things that you have is corruption man yo 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 everything man nothing is is, is sacred with you devils man your gold and your silver uh, is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last few days, man. You see, all these things that you now you 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 are are are, are uh, turning upside down. The wallets of the poor, squeeze, squeezing everything out of them. Everything that you do, it will come upon your own head, man. The, the heavenly father is gonna punish you because you devils are the first batch of slaveries of slaves who's gonna who's gonna be the first to lucky the first batch of slaves in the new kingdom man that is what is gonna happen man when when the, the third world war is gonna end the half and uh, the heavenly father gonna send his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, you know with the host of angels to punish you devils and take back this earth you know and 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 save the elect it is gonna be all over for you and you that are gonna be in your bonkers you gonna <laughs> hey you devils gonna be the first slaves man you are gonna be the ones who's gonna be in change your your whole family lineage everybody you know you're gonna work man like apostle Taha said you're gonna work biatch <laughs> you see that is what is happen gonna happen man you ain't gonna pro profit of everything that you has have culminated man this money man Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is uh, of you kept back by fraud, and that is was especially with the Israelites. You know, uh, we, you held, you did never give us, uh, 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 you never give us a recompense for uh, the free labor that we did to build up your society. And your, you know, you never give us nothing, man. Meanwhile, when we try to build things up like uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, you know, you burned everything down out of jealousy and despite, you see? But it was not the time because we we are still yet in this day in captivity. So the Heavenly Father didn't want us to already be, be built up and be free because we are not free. We are in captivity by the Heavenly Father. So we cannot, uh, I don't say that you need to be poor, that poor, but it is not now the time to uh, uh, to be uh, exalted in this kingdom, man. You see? Uh, 
let me read it again which is of you kept back by fraud cry it and uh, the cries of them which have reaped and entered into the lay uh, the ears of the lord of sabaoth you know and that is the lord of heavens man the, the armies man the lord man is a man of war you know and he's here in the elect because uh, in the in the and uh, of course he's for Israel but there is a remnant an elect in Israel that he's dealing with man and he's here in our Christ man you see ye have lifted pleasures uh, on the earth and been wanton ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter you see and that is what you did man you live in luxury man you say you know you've been yeah hey, you've been living it up man you you be hey, everything you the whole earth is yours hey yeah, you are having a jolly good time here on this earth and you're still getting bolder that's why you have everything and still you are greedy and want more and now you want the souls of the people you see and especially of jacob man because you want to get away of this whole birthright that the uh the the the, the lineage of jacob has man you see uh, ye have condemned and killed the just and he does not resist you yeah man because how we can resist you devils man we have no armies we have nothing man you are controlling everything man and we don't resist you still you killing off, uh, us off man still you coming with all kinds of wicked devices uh 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 that uh, uh that windows 19 that you brought you know you you make things that especially for the uh uh only can hurt jake you see you're the wicked the piece of shit man that is what you are man that perpetual hatred is still in you constantly man even that you're smiling and jake thing hey the chains are off we are free still you are doing things that what does the uh, salakia what these bill and melinda gates these devils were saying uh uh during the 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 windows 90 that you uh so-called negroes latinos and native americans need to get that that snake juice first man <laughs> you see because these devils don't like want you man the the parents of this uh uh uh, uh the, the father of uh kill kill gates he was uh he was uh, financing uh, margaret sanger and Mar margaret sanger is the head of uh was the head of Par planned parenthood and it was particularly uh, uh targeted at you so-called negroes latinos and native americans he was calling you human wheat and you know what they're doing with weed, man. So you, you already know, man. You see? Uh, yeah, man. This, uh, yeah, man. This, yeah, okay. This is what I want to have, man. So we can, let's go to the book of... Uh, Yeah, man, this is the book of uh, 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And these devils, like I say, man, they are coming out guns blazing, man. They ain't holding back. They ain't lurking in the dark anymore. They are all out in the open, like they've been exposed also all, all out in the open. So... He has nothing to lose anymore because he knows also that he got about a short time man you know pursuing uh revelation 12 and 12 man he knows that this devil knows that he got about a short time that's why he's in a hurry you know to uh to really to build his new world order man to to establish his new world order man and that is what it's all about man you see so uh, that's why you need to be f sober and vigilant man nowadays man there's no time to play to sleep and think that hey everything is good man and i mean sleeping that you ain't watching what is going on man that you be in la la land man that you be playing around man you need to stay focused man because a lot of things are happening man and soon you're gonna feel the squeeze man you see because now the, the, this uh, second phase that they're going to enter, now you're going to really going to feel it, man. You see? Uh, let's go. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm talking about it. Let's go over there, man. You see? 
the book of Revelation chapter 12, straight to the point. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is our Edom, because it is a man, is come down unto you having great wrath. Like I was saying, he ain't gonna hold back them anymore, man. He's all out in the open like what he wants, man, that you need to comply to him, this devil, man. And what we, what I was saying, all roads is, 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 is heading and uh, leading to the to the Haragma, man, to the Revelation 13 and 16, you see? Because he know it, he, that he had but a short time. Yeah, man, because we can see the chariots, man. We see the angels, man. We see the works, the signs that are all up, uh, all through the whole scriptures, through the Bible, that this is his end, man. You see? That he ain't got long anymore, man. We see it all, man. All these earthquakes, all these natural disasters. We see all the signs in the heavens, man. The moon, blood moon, all the things that the Lord was talking about, man. That the second coming of uh, of uh, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, man, that is going to come, man, you know. That is what it's all about, man. So, uh, going through the last scripture, man, and then I'm going to close out, man. Yeah, man, because, hey, we're going to enter a time, man, that, uh, like I was reading, that hey for uh, to speaking out this word especially out of the bible man you know you're gonna be condemned by these devils man they're gonna want they want to gonna persecute us you know the, because you got a different narrative they don't like that narrative because why he want his satanic world man on this earth man so you're gonna be the enemy of this devil man you see and like I was reading in the article, they're going to throw you in prison if you are against this word, man. This def the devil Klaus Swap was saying that, man. Like, hey, if you are, uh, if you try to uh, out, uh, order free speech, you need to be locked up, man. Because it is, uh, you, uh, <laughs> uh, it is a war machine, it is a, a weapon against them, man. You see, because this devil don't like to be held accountable for the wickedness that he's been uh, he's doing, man. It's always been like that. You see, so he gonna bring unrighteous decrees and try to lock you up, man. You see, and uh, it's gonna be a time also they are gonna uh, behead you, man. So let me read it, man. Let the scriptures speak. This is Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil. Uh, that is not uh, the spiritual being Satan and the devil that is going to lock you up. No, the devil, the Edomites, the so-called white man, the Esau Edom, shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation. Ten days be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. So those that are going to endure, man, the things that you're going to suffer, and you need to, <laughs> you need to stay strong in your, in, 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 uh, and rooted in this truth, man. Hey, the Heavenly Father is going to give you a crown of life, man. You see? Hey, He's going to be with you, man, and He's going to give you that crown of life if you endure, man, till the end, man. You see? You're going to, and it is not going to be particular that you're going to suffer really 10 days. It can be maybe longer, maybe, maybe a little bit shorter, you know? But, hey, you need to hold on, man, because, hey, if you are in this truth, man, and the Heavenly Father is dealing with you, man, don't worry, man. Keep the faith, man. The Heavenly Father will save us out of uh, this situation that is about to come. Because, hey, victory is already written for the elect, man. It's nothing that this devil can do, man. Like I was saying, man, the Yahweh is in control of everything, man. It is not he, man. So yeah, man, with that, I'm going to close out. I want to give the highest honor glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rahak Badash, Shalom.